Uh, good morning and welcome to Deke Town. I appreciate all the staff members who transformed Bud Jim into this incredible, set, incredible setting in about two hours last night. I actually brought uh, Liv Summiel in here to see it so she could see all the stuff that was happening uh, because Wake Forest basketball, Wake Forest women's basketball, Wake Forest women's basketball is really important. And all the people that scrambled, uh, we, we couldn't do it early because we wanted our team to be the first to know. So all this stuff started happening once we went in to tell our team and introduce them to our new tech, uh, head coach, and I appreciate uh, their effort. I also want to recognize that while this is an exciting and joyful moment for Wake Forest basketball, we also know that we're surrounded by sadness and tragedy in our world, and we lift up in prayer those whose lives have been shattered this week by senseless violence. Leadership means everything, and I want to thank our president, Dr. Susan R. Winty, who has done an incredible job in her first 11 months at Wake Forest. She and I share the challenge of following transformative leaders in Dr. Hatch and Ron Wellman, who is here somewhere today. And I can tell you that President Winty has been an absolute rock for me. I love her engagement and her very high expectations of performance. Uh, she and Chris are away today on a long-standing and much-deserved visit with their daughter. But she's been tremendous in this process, both in devoting time to visit with our candidates and in our decision-making process. We're blessed with a tremendous chair of the Wake Forest Board of Trustees, Matt King, and I count our Athletics Committee Chair, Debbie Lambert, as one of my most trusted advisors and mentors. Representing our Board of Trustees today, somewhere is our Vice Chair uh, and uh, Professor Emeritus, Herman Urey. Stand up, Herman, please. Let's give Herman a round of applause. And speaking of competitive expectations, Dr. Yuri leads the way in that. So thank you, Dr. Yuri, for being here. Um, I also want to recognize uh, we know that we play basketball in the most elite conference in the country. And we all talked about that li last night, didn't, didn't we, uh, team? And we talked about that's one of the reasons you chose to come to Wake Forest is to be part of the ACC. And the support for basketball in the Atlantic Coast Conference under the leadership of our commissioner, Dr. Jim Phillips, is extraordinary. And, and that's evidenced by the fact uh, that our deputy commissioner, Mary McElroy, Oh, I think I promoted her. Senior Associate Commissioner, I'd promote you. Let's talk to Jim about that, all right? Our Senior Associate Commissioner for Women's Basketball, uh, Mary McElroy, is here today. Please give her a round of applause and welcome Mary. Transitions are really hard for student athletes, and I appreciate both the patience of our team members over the last two weeks and the direct support provided to them daily. Particularly, particularly by Mike Muse and Marianne Justice and Jasmine Perkins, Victoria Sacido, Jessica Pam, Nia Randall and Brooke Taylor and many other folks. I'm also grateful, Scott Spurgnoga, our women's basketball trainer right over here. I'm also grateful for the contributions of dozens of people behind the scenes to make today possible. Deputy AD Lindsey Babcock, Senior Associate AD Ellie Shannon, our Senior Advisor and Counsel Pete Poxtelis, and our consultant, Katie Young-Stout of Turnkey ZRG, all put in countless hours to help us find the right leader for our women's basketball program. Back in October, in one of her first addresses to the Board of Trustees, President Wendy Winty remarked that she had found in her initial time that Wake Foresters were highly competitive and aspired to excellence in everything we do. One of those highly competitive people is Bob McCrary. And Bob's not here today, but yesterday he graciously provided his plane on a couple hours notice to bring Coach Jebby and company uh, down to Winston-Salem. And as we do often around here, thank you, Bob, wherever you are. Another highly competitive person um, is Dr. Carol Guth. And I want Dr. Guth to stand up, All right? There's no one with a higher standard of excellence and a recognition of the potential in strong women leaders at Wake Forest than Dr. Carol Guth. And she's been uh, a great friend. Uh, she'll challenge you sometimes, uh, which is incredible. Um, and she's also uh, been an incredible investor. And in about three or four months, these women are going to walk right across the hall in what will be the nicest, 
Women's basketball, it's not, we can't even call it a locker room. It's a clubhouse, right? A locker room is like metal lockers, man. This is a clubhouse, right? And they're going to walk into the best women's basketball clubhouse facility in the country, and partly uh, because of Dr. Guth uh, and her leadership and her extraordinary generosity. And, and I also want to recognize one person that's not here, and I got a call earlier this week from C.J. Paul, uh, Chris's brother. And, you know, Chris made the lead gift uh, for, for this, this overall facility renovation. And, and, and CJ told me, hey, Chris wants to make sure he meets Coach Jebby as soon as he can, as soon as he can. And uh, it, was just, it just goes to show you how much everyone is hungering for incredible success for this program and for these young women. The backbone strength of Wake Forest University is an incredible faculty of committed teacher scholars, one of whom, Dr. Peter Brubaker, also serves as our faculty faculty athletics representative and is here right here in the front row uh, next to Coach Jebbia. And as I look out here uh, between my longtime colleague Dr. Penny Rue and Minta McNally, I see behind her mask Donna Boswell, a past chair of the Board of Trustees at Wake Forest University. Thank you for being here, Donna. Very similar to the backbone of a successful athletics program and the number one pillar of a world-class student athlete experience is an elite, is the elite set of head coaches that Coach Jebby is joining. I know we have several traveling. We've got at least three still competing, including uh, Coach, uh, Coach Haas, whose team tees off in the NCAA championships in Phoenix today. Uh, but I know Coach Clawson is here, uh, ACC Coach of the Year this year. Our volleyball coach, Randy Smart, is here. Where's Randy? Right here in the back. And I know we got a couple others, and somebody will wave at me if I've missed somebody who has uh, drifted in. I also want to recognize uh, uh, Coach Steve Forbes. A number of his staff are here. Uh, Coach Forbes is at a family funeral uh, right now, but I appreciate the time that both he and Coach Clawson put in to this process and taking the time to visit with our candidates earlier uh, this week. Um, on the telephone and then provide me uh, their counsel. And last night, uh, Coach Clawson, you know, he didn't want to tell me who he liked best, right? But he walked in yesterday when he was going to meet Coach Jebby and he goes, you picked my number one choice. <laughs> so that's like the ultimate affirmation, Dave. Okay, thank you very much uh, for, for saying that uh, to me. Um, and is, is Diane here? Diane is not here, but we did see Diane. That was the first person uh, Coach Jebbia met yesterday. Diane Daly, our, our legendary uh, coach and administrator, uh, which is fitting to mention as we conclude a year's celebration of 50 years in women's athletics um, at Wake Forest. So, along with student athlete safety, hiring a new head coach is my most important responsibility. I began the process two weeks ago with a team meeting followed by personal one-on-one -on -one visits with all of our players over a couple day period to ensure we fully understood what was most important to them. As I told the president, I was incredibly impressed by the maturity of their answers. And when I asked the question about what they liked best about Wake Forest, they talked about our community, about the family atmosphere, this incredibly beautiful setting, and their relationships with professors and students across campus. I also appreciated and learned a lot from the feedback and conversations I had with former players, basketball media, and experts around the country. Our process, as with any process at Wake Forest, was thorough and inclusive and attracted interest from outstanding leaders from all levels of basketball. To have so many championship coaches desire to be the next leader for women's basketball at Wake Forest was both flattering and validating. As a top 30 national university with a caring and invested faculty and staff, the best on campus, men's and women's, basketball facilities in the country, our status as a charter member of the Atlantic Coast Conference and our home in the vibrant city of Winston-Salem in the great state of North Carolina, the foundation is in place to elevate this program to the Wake Forest standard of excellence. As I said earlier, my meetings with our players were inspirational and instructive. First, this is a group of very smart young people. If you're watching this on the internet, you got a company, you want to hire these people. They're incredible. They love Wake Forest, and they told me they want to win, right? They told me they wanted authentic communication and connection. They wanted to be pushed 
Remember that, okay? You said you wanted to be pushed, all right? They wanted to be pushed to be the very best, and they are committed to academic excellence, and they want a coach who embraces and understands that. With Coach Ge Jebbia, finally did it. <laughs> I believe we have the perfect fit to provide a true world-class student athlete experience and unlock and achieve the high potential that exists for our women's basketball program. She is a great relationship builder who has created a positive team culture and consistent identity for her teams on and off the court, especially defensively. Her player development skills are evidenced by three conference player of the years, three Patriot Scholar Athletes of the Year, and American University's first ever academic All-American. Coach Jebbia has built a championship culture during her nine years at American with six winning seasons, three NCAA tournament appearances, three regular season Patriot League titles, and five total postseason bursts. The Eagles earned their earned regular season conference titles in 2015, 18, and 19, and won the conference tournament title in 15, 18, and 22. In 27 years, she's helped her teams reach the NCAA tournament 12 times, including a, six, a Sweet 16 appearance. She's American, American's all-time winningest leader and the only coach in program history to lead them to the NCAA tournament. In our research, and even since this announcement and the text messages that keep coming in from basketball people and athletics people, even the president of American University uh, over the last several weeks, we kept hearing these affirmations and these adjectives. Leader, connector, builder, poised, professional, communicator, rock star, <laughs> got that one from several people, winner, champion. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our new head basketball coach, Megan Jebbia. Um, John talked a lot, so I'll probably try to keep it a little shorter than him. Um, but this has been an unbelievable process for me. Um, I think I told the team last night, this is a dream come true. Uh, just never really felt like people believed in me. Um, you know, as you look at moving on in the coaching profession, you want that next job at some point, and you want that person to be all in buy-in, and that's what I'm asking from the players, the same thing. And over the, over the course of time, meeting with John, he put me through the ringer. As you guys, people that know him probably know that, he's very thorough. Um, and over time, I just felt so comfortable. And the way he talked about Wake Forest University, the community support, every coach I spoke with, Coach Clausen was incredible on the phone. Like, he just made me feel so comfortable here. And I think it was an easy decision for me to make when I got the call from, from uh, John late at night. I can't remember what time it was, but it was late. And I wasn't expecting it. I was actually getting ready to go to bed at that point. I'm like, I have to throw on another dress uh, top or something. So uh, he doesn't know. But I'm extremely excited for this opportunity. Obviously, this is um, where it's at. The ACC conference is where you want to be. Um, I'm excited to compete. I know we have a great team. I know they're committed and they're ready to go. Um, President Wente and John Curry have given me this team to work with and just to be the next leader of Wake Forest uh, women's basketball is, gosh, um, I'm honored is the only thing I can say. I'm really, really honored. However, uh, I had to, uh, in order to get here, I had to leave another place. And last night I had to, to make that phone call and leaving American University was very difficult for me just because I had spent so much time with those athletes and those, that community, the administration, and to say that I'm moving on was hard, uh, very hard for me. However, everybody said, congratulations, you deserve this, you've earned this, go kill it, is basically what they said. So it's, it's nice to have support from both ends, you know, it just makes you feel like you're doing the right thing. Um, 
I'm eternally grateful for President Burwell and Dr. Billy Walker, who, you know, basically gave me my first chance to be a head coach. So that I, uh, I can never uh, <laughs> just thank them enough. The fans, the student athletes who gave me a chance, with whom I shared such, a, such special experiences, uh, just NCAA tournaments, they've taught me so much and they've changed my life in a way in which I can never repay them. Just getting to know them as people, um, just outstanding student athletes, people that I wanted to be around every day. And I think that's why we do this job as, as coaches. We wouldn't be doing this if we didn't love you guys and want to be there every day and get to know you. So I think that was big for me. I also would be remiss if I didn't thank my mentor, Coach Brian Georges at Marist College. I spent 10 years with him there. We won nine championships in 10 years. He taught me how to win. He pretty much taught me how uh, the game should be played um, and to do it the right way with integrity. And I think that was one thing that I know he's probably watching. I'm glad he's not here because I'm sure I'd be crying if he was. But he's been such a mentor and a friend to me. And thank you, Coach Georges. Coming to Wake Forest presents an opportunity to be a part of a special brand and a chance to impact our student athletes' lives in a positive way while competing for championships. Championships. Remember I said that, ladies. My highest priority is spending time and developing these relationships with our current student athletes, alumni, and young women who will make the future of Demon Deacon basketball. So that's, all those things are really important. Existing team, future kids. We have to do that. The philosophy of our program is straightforward. Build authentic relationships. We talked about that last night with the team. Consistent, competitive spirit. We're going to compete every day in practice, and I will remind you when you're not. Maintain a culture of excellence, right? You have to achieve. You have to at least try to achieve to be excellent in everything you do on and off the court. I think that's so important to remember. We will continue to remind you. Our staff, which we are assembling, will focus solely on recruiting great basketball players and young women who have to, uh, excuse me, who have a desire to be developed both on and off the floor. Wake Forest has a proud tradition with unmatched facilities and a highly successful alumni base. I want to recognize Jen Hoover for her contributions to Wake Forest and recruiting tremendous young women in this program right now. Together, we will build a sustainable winning program. That's always the goal. You will be proud of this team on the court, in the classroom, and in the community. My family and I are thrilled to be a part of this special place, and we are ready to join the Wake Forest family. Thank you. I am a little hard of hearing, so please speak up. <laughs> Les Johns, Demon Deacon Digest, and the Deacon Sports Extra. Um, good morning, Coach Jebby. Uh, welcome to Wake Forest. Um, I guess just walk me through the process. What does the next two, four, six weeks look like for you? What are the top priorities, and what do you hope to get accomplished as you go into your first season as head coach? Yeah, I mean, there's a lot to be accomplished in that amount of time. Uh, hiring my staff, making sure that we have the right people in place to, to move forward, um, working out with these young women. I think is really important getting to know their strengths or weaknesses, getting to know their goals. What do they want to achieve? Um, you know, I think in order to be successful, you need to start from the ground and then work your way up. So, so laying that foundation of what we expect from them each and every day when we're able to practice in the summertime and then move our way forward to the fall um, and really put some pieces in place uh, basketball wise, I would say, with what we like to do, what we like to run, so they feel comfortable going into the fall and not like all of a sudden it's like, what is this? You know, so just trying to lay that foundation. Staff is really important recruiting. I mean, we have to recruit, recruit, recruit. That's what you have to do at this level. So getting on the phone with 23s, 24s, 25s at some point, getting them on campus, seeing how these young ladies behave, what they're like, what it's like to be in the ACC. We're going to need, need their help to help recruit those types of kids and just you know, keep adding to what um, this program has had in the past. Yeah. Anything else for Coach Guys before we do breakouts? Outstanding. Well, thank you all very much for being here today. Thank you. Go Deeks. Go Deeks. Go Deeks.